All right, so take a good look at this picture right here. Mm -hmm. People who live in South Euclid are, well, they're trying to help this deer that has a plastic pumpkin stuck on its head. Yeah, Will Ewick joins us live with the details. And Will, sadly, this isn't the first time we've seen this happen. No, it happens about this time of year, almost every year somewhere uh, you find this happens where kids will leave this uh, plastic pumpkin that's usually used for trick or treat around and a deer gets stuck in it. Out here in South Euclid, we've got these pictures sent in by viewers here and a group have come together to form a sort of a neighborhood watch to keep an eye out for this deer and try to help to rescue it. Um, the lady that sent some of these photos in says her father saw the deer about a week ago, has joined in with others, coming up with ideas on how to get this pumpkin off. The viewer says, about 20 people gathered just a few days ago, followed the deer for about three miles, but were unable to get close enough to remove the pumpkin. She says they've contacted the Department of Wildlife for help, trying everything they, they can. Another viewer says the deer has been stuck in that pumpkin for at least nine days. Last time she saw it was early yesterday morning. Just last week, we told you about a deer spotted in southwestern Ohio around Cincinnati with a bright orange plastic pumpkin stuck on its head. A group there, citizens, owners of a pet store, wildlife rescue, they used poles and ropes, tracked the deer, surrounded it, and was able to get the pumpkin off. You may also remember back in 2014, there was a lot of talk about a deer stuck out in Mentor for at least six days. Several crews tried to help that one out, including the Ohio Department of Natural Resources and Animal Sanctuary came in and helped. Finally, they got the young man uh, that tackled the deer and was able to get the bucket off. Just a reminder, though, if you are out here in South Euclid or you're looking to help, that the deer is going to be very nervous. Obviously, the bottom of the hooves very sharp, so you want to proceed with caution, guys.